$10 billion over the next five years. We got rid of one rule from 40 years ago that could have forced some dairy farmers to spend $10,000 a year proving that they could contain a spill because milk was somehow classified as an oil. And with a rule like that, I guess it was worth crying over spilled milk. confident a farmer can contain a milk spill without a federal agency looking over his shoulder. But I will not back down for making sure an oil company can contain the kind of oil spill we saw in the Gulf two years ago. I will not back down from protecting our kids from mercury poisoning or making sure that our food is safe and our water is clean. where they get this oil from swimming, they can't sue. And their kid dies. So, I mean, this is, this is bad. It's insane. It's insane, and it's, this is all about money. John Bull Ball, it's April 15th, the Detroit Free Press. Here's the newspaper, uh, as you know, to document the dates, so I'm just can't lie. Okay, we just came out here. Look at how bad uh, Amber Jones is probably this creek is. Not this is Amber Jones' property. EPA knows it's here. Look at all this. Look at how bad this is. I mean, the entire creek is just full of massive amounts of oil that our animals are drinking and dying from. It's November 21st, 2011. I mean, we're talking a year and a half after the spill. Enbridge owns this property. I've showed you over and over again that they don't want to clean it up and we just stirred this up. I'm with Ted Genoway. He's from Virginia. He writes On Earth. Um, he's a great author. Just wrote something about Ben Gottschall in Nebraska. It was a wonderful piece and he wanted to come here and see with his own two eyes, him and his wife, the oil that's being left behind. So I'm just going to show you clean glove and just going to come through here and collect the oil and my sh I'm sinking in getting all wet and yucky but if I don't do this nobody's going to do it and I got to tell people the truth about my community See that? Deer. This is deer season right now. Deer are going to be drinking this. And when you feed that deer to your family, they're going to be polluted. You guys need to get mad. You need to do something about this. You can't stand back and let this happen. Why do I got to do this by myself? Yes. All right. There's the coordinates. November 12th, there's the newspaper. Gonna get in uh I just got in here and stirred this up a little bit and as you see I mean this area this is ground zero this is one of the first areas they said was clean um it's massively full of oil and so I'm just coming out here and stir it up a little bit I mean this is just on the surface what is under the ground like deeper 
I'm just going in the top, you know, three or four inches. So just let it all come up a little bit. Got a clean glove. Can you see my glove? Is the sun in your eyes or? A little bit. I mean. All right. Gonna just try to get a good angle so the sun. Yes. And then a clean glove. And. Just the toil. What? Oh, pretty bad here. And can you see that? Can you see the oil, everybody? November 21st, I'm at ground zero where the oil spill was, and it's just full of oil. They did not clean this up. See where I don't put my rake around, see how clean it looks? You can see right down to the bottom. But where I take my rake and put it in, see how it's all popping up just where I walked. So what's your opinion of all this? These are reporters from uh, Virginia on Earth. I wouldn't want to go swimming in here, I can say that. Yeah, I, I, you know, it doesn't look cleaned up. And what do you think about them redigging up entire areas that it looks like it was already done and cleared and signed off on? And you've heard residents say that, that uh, it was signed off on and they were told it was clean. What do you think about them redigging it up now? Well, if it looks like this, they, sh they should be out and, and continuing to clean up because this is. You know, I, I don't know what all is in the slick that's here, but it, but nothing that's good for you. Nothing that, that is going to be good for the for the environment here. And so they should be they should be in and cleaning it up, no question. What do you th do? You think what I'm doing has actually helped in the cleanup process from just what you've seen? Well, I think that there's no question that that you know that they're going into places that that they had declared cleaned up and then when the videos get get posted showing just the sort of thing that we've seen here that forces them to have to go back and and clean up again and uh, you know this raises very serious questions for us to be able to to pose to Enbridge and and see what they they say and the, um, what their explanation for this is um, because I I don't think any of them could come out here and look at this and and say that this is that this has been cleaned out. No, they can't. So, uh, thank you guys for coming. And thank you for showing us around. They're from Virginia and they're on their way to Nebraska. And hopefully with all these articles and all the news and we can get more attention and more awareness to all the oil that's being left by these uh, tar sand oil companies. And they just don't clean up things properly.
September 21st, go really super slow, right? Just go ahead and stop. this began for you? I mean, when when you found out about the spill and, and when you started seeing effects of it around here? I mean, just just tell us the, the, the story of how this all happened. There's, there's just been a long couple of years. Yeah. I know. Even have so but that was before, because he said there was negative oil in the river. Well, so, Enbridge just recently told you that the R Kalamazoo River is cleaner than a gas station area. After the gas station leaves, after they go to business and they pull the tanks back up. Well, but are you going to have your kids playing in that at the gas station? No. And your kids will be in, in these areas playing. So what if they get oil in their mouths when they're swimming and playing in the creek? Yeah. Or in the Kalamazoo River? What do you think about that? Yeah, no, that's not right. Uh, have you read the MSDS sheet where it says it can kill you if you swallow any of the sheen and oil? No. Yep. Their own paperwork says it can kill you. Oh. And they want to put kids in there. And he's like, that's probably a lot of it's natural. It's like, it was never there, natural no. before. <laughs> that's what he said. He goes, you'd be surprised how much natural oil is there in the ground. There is no natural oil here. None. I, I, I know. Yeah. That's so Embers what they were saying. Embers lied to you again, huh? Yeah. God. I can't, I'm, hey, tell me where those areas are. I'll go prove there's oil and I'll make them look stupid and um, I'll make them clean it up. Just, I'll show you. All right. Well, on another day, I'll come back. Okay. Awesome. So, when are they going to come out and start redigging all this area? They said they're south of Division Drive right now. Okay. They would be flipping over between Division Drive and 69 between now and Christmas, and then they should be back here after Christmas. Okay. But then they have to have everything done by the 31st of oh, March. Wow. So, oh, okay. What did you just say about Enbridge? What they tell you and what actually happens are two different things. What do you mean by that? They won't necessarily lie, but they won't tell you the exact truth. So, okay, they they said I'm not a worker now that I have proved an oil cover-up. Um, they said, well, he wasn't our worker. Well, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's just however they're saying it there. What, so, did you see me on Channel 3 News the other day? No. I, I was just on the news again, and court records proved that we were told to cover up oil. That... Um, it, we had a meeting, and if it bothered our conscience, we didn't have to cover up oil. And um, that we were told, they didn't tell the whole truth, like, you know, but um, some of the foremen, or at least one of the foremen, mainly admitted that we were told to spread oil around, not clean it up properly. Truth is, we were told to take shovelfuls and throw it in the, the woods, and to break dirt over it. What do you, do you believe me? I believe it, yeah. Why do you believe me? Just the stuff that I've seen, and what I've been told by Ambridge, and... I'm trying not to like take everybody's word for exactly what they're saying, but they can put it all together. So if you put everything together, you believe what, everything I've been saying? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Tonight, yeah. a News Channel 3 I-Team investigation into claims oil from the Enbridge pipeline was not properly cleaned up in the months after the spill. We first talked to John Bolenbaugh exclusively in February when he told us that as an oil cleanup worker, he was told to hide oil instead of properly remove it. Bowling Ball has since been fired and is suing his former company. Now, court documents shed new light on the fired workers' claims. The I team's Ryan Duffy looked through those documents and spoke with Bowling Ball. He's live now in Kalamazoo. Ryan. Aaron, when we did first talk to John Bowling Ball, he told us he was told to simply cover up oil soaked ground instead of doing a real cleanup. And he says since then he's been dealing with the repercussions of revealing that inside information. It is all oil. When John Bolenbaugh took us on this tour of the site of the Enbridge oil spill in February, he says he never imagined where it would lead. He told us then how as an employee of an Enbridge subcontractor cleaning up oil, he was told to cover up oil patches and to spread it around to make it look clean. He says revealing that cost him his job and a lot more. I lost my job. I lost my career. I've been overlooked for every oil job there is in the union because I'm a union member. 
and I've sold everything I own. And Since being fired, Bolenbaugh has sued his former company, SET Environmental, and he says testimony and depositions for his lawsuit prove he was telling the truth. The I-Team has examined those deposition transcripts. For example, this testimony on page 39 was from a man Bolenbaugh says was his former boss on the cleanup. Do you recall being present at a meeting in which John Duncan told SET employees that they didn't have to cover up oil if it bothered their conscience? Yes. And when did that take place? After an O'Brien representative told us to spread oily debris in the woods out thinner so it would look less like there was the thick oil testimony there. Testimony like this shows he was telling the truth and was unfairly fired. I mean, there is no other reason. I was a good employee. I never was rode up, never missed a day of work. I'm a hard worker, and they all said that. This is the company that fired me wrongfully, and uh, the judge said that we're going to a jury trial about it. We are at a Embridge Park. Embridge built this park right next to the Oily River. Oh my God. I cannot believe that they encourage kids to come to this oily soaked, benzene contaminated river. This is sad. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality Water Resources Division gave them a permit to do this. They are just as guilty as Enbridge. Don't go in the river, people. I'm telling you, your kids will get sick. You disgust me. Well, do you want your kids down in here? In this oily river? I hope you do not allow them to fool you. This place is not safe. Do not bring your children down here. I believe that I am being more than accurate in my opinion. Oh my God. <laughs> 